What's up guys, Gold Brick here with another um, little review here, and today we're going to be re reviewing a bootleg version of Lego. So I got this off of Amazon, Deadpool and Spider-Man. I thought it was a pretty good deal, it was 10 bucks for a Deadpool figure and Spider-Man, and usually like, the official Lego Deadpool figures are like 60 bucks, and the set that he comes in are like 80 online at least. It's like 20 in stores if you can find it. So, uh, anyways, let's take a look at Spider-Man here. So, uh, it comes with a little minifigure base, so does Deadpool. Um, he's got a lot darker shading on him. On the face, apparently, there was this little mishap here. The paint is coming into his eyes, on his face, and then his body is, pr uh, the print is a lot darker than the rest of the body, which is a little weird, but, you know, whatever. Um... On the legs, the system's a little bit different, but it's compatible with LEGO. As you can see, the torso part in here is the exact same as LEGO itself. So, otherwise, I think this looks really nice. The torso is just a little uh, different shading. Spider-Man here is a lot lighter shading. So that's the official. I think the Spider-Man logos look about right. Yeah, they look pretty dang close, except... Uh, face is darker and the torso is darker. It's just like in darker shading. So anyways, there you go. Um, the web that he, uh, the web that he comes with is pretty much just a web. Not much to say about it except for the little holes at the end. And this end has got like the string coming out of the hole. So nothing much to say about the web. Pretty spot on. Spider-Man's pretty spot on. I think it looks really nice. Uh, Deadpool. Um, another cool figure. Uh, this looks pretty dang close to the original Deadpool. So, um, I don't have the official one, but I've seen pictures and it looks pretty close. I'd assume it's a little darker shading due to the fact that Spider-Man was. Um, no real problems here. Uh, the katanas are smoother. So a little different. Uh, Deadpool's hands fall off very easily, apparently. That's one problem. His hands fall off easy. Uh, his legs are the same. Pretty close there. The back's pretty close. Not much to say. I'd say his head is very secured on there because uh gave me this little neck piece they put on there to put their swords in. Um, but I can't get his head off. It's really tight on there. I, I can't get it off. I don't know what to do. But uh, anyways, this is actually a lighter color than the ones I have. I have an official Lego one. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Later. Sorry. And um, so um, overall, I think these figures are pretty nice. Um, don't see any real problems with them. Uh, except that they're a little darker shading. Um... The legs are loose for some reason, I didn't mention that, but they're a lot looser. The leg design's different. Um, not many real problems, they're compatible with LEGO and other building block systems. So, um, I think it seems nice. So, uh, hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!